10% luck. We got legendary vampire slaying underwear. Okay, I'm I'm ready. I'm ready to cash in. Uh, this run has been a slaughter. Hello everyone, Jeff here. Welcome back to some more Vampire Hunters. Today we're going to be uh, going back to the village yard and completing some achievements here to unlock some more weapons. We're playing Sasuke some more double dash, double jump. I've also unlocked this Demon Lord's Trident, which I think we're going to use. It seems good. 10% damage, 7% luck, and then I'm going to take another 3% luck. It seems good. Um, for our starting weapon, I'm... Thinking we start with elemental rifle and that's probably fine. I messed with the skill tree a little bit So now we have this dancing with the devil. So We get a damage bonus to our move speed while we're moving um, On you know, we still have our double jumps and all that stuff. I still don't have quite enough to get the blood rush skill unfortunately But we need to defeat these uh Orpheon Reapers or whatever they're called. I don't know. Anyways, what I want to do today is try out some of the newer weapons I've unlocked that I have not had a chance to, like the Holy Water Hose and the, um, I think it's called Missile, but I'm assuming it's just like a rocket launcher. I don't know. Anyway, we're going to try it out, have a little fun, see if we can clear the stage. I assume we'll be able to. I think we did pretty good when I was trying like the all, well, all machine gun that turned into like basically all SMG run. We'll see how it goes, though. We do have, and remember, I have two dashes, not one dash. I totally forgot last video. Uh, I wonder if we can double air dash. I should, al should also be constantly moving, which is going to be weird for me because part of me feels like I should just be camping. But that's OK. All right, we could take sniper, too. That seems like an easy choice, like Free, free levels are good. I don't think there's too many things in games I like more than like free levels. It's like drawing cards and your tabletop game. Oh, you can double air dash. OK, well, we could probably make some absurd jumps then. This is terrible. Uh, take the keychain, I guess. I did uh, see in the comments uh, Daydream King. I think he's the or at least at the time of recording, I think he's the score leader on this, posted in the comments that uh, <laughs> the Paladin character is actually just straight up invincible if you have the right combinations of like relics plus, uh, you know, in-game relics as well. Uh, revolver? We actually have not used Revolver yet, so time to use a Revolver. It's going to be all new stuff for me. But remember, I cannot jump that high, fortunately. Also, probably shouldn't run sideways, but I can <laughs> do stuff like that. Orb up. Sure. Why not? It's probably going to be a little bit of side strafing here since the bonus damage. That's ridiculous that I can make that much ground. All right, uh, I think if we shoot this guy a little bit and then jump over to here, we're going to cheese this werewolf and then we're going to jump back. I do the same thing. Yeah, like I know the Paladin's probably invincible, but I think this is more fun for me. Something about the mobility of it is just very satisfying. I'm out of air dashes. <laughs> oh, that was close. I can make the jump without the dash, though. This is a lot of work just to get rid of one guy. Um, I will take a Thunderstroke level three. Sure. Sure. Thank you, luck. Appreciate it. Revolver 2. It gets death reload. It's pretty good. I mean, electric chain's incredible. We know that. But again, this is a very experimental run here. So we'll see what happens.
I think standing on this corner might actually be better than what I've been doing. Because it kind of filters everyone in the same direction. Instead of standing up at the top and having to, uh, like, aim back and forth. Until we get to the Cenobites. Um, okay, where's the health at? I should probably go collect it. Big jump? <laughs> That's ridiculous. It's ridiculous that we can do that. Hey, Mr. Werewolf, could you please back off? We found... We found the healing. We'll upgrade the orb. Let's go back to our, like, little safety spot over here. Thunderstroke getting slow is pretty strong. It's, like, very strong. Obviously. Definitely could use... some AoE weapons. I'm hopefully, you know, I want to see that missile launcher for sure. I'm really excited for the future of this game, like... There's a lot that could be done to... <laughs> to very easily and very quickly make this, uh... significantly better than it already is, and it's already, like, really fun, but... Aside from, like, more maps and whatnot, and... Maybe... I know, this stage obviously needs some more bosses, I think. But... Uh, sniper just goes to five, just like that. Okay. Um. I think adding the synergy stuff from the other mode is probably a good idea. You know what? I'm gonna take the luck. I think we're, I think we're strong enough that we could just, like, push luck really hard right now. It's early enough. I am trying to get a 500 combo multiplier, and we're, like approaching that right now we've just gotten the wombo combo achievement which is 400 maybe i was trying to get 400 i don't know oh now we're at 500 very quickly not really sure how that's happened but but it's working <laughs> 600 Oh, our combo is broken. As soon as I say something, naturally. Elemental Rifle 2... It'd be nice to have rerolls, I think. Definitely Elemental Rifle up. Alright, let's see. Can we go... <laughs> That's so dumb. We can go all the way across. Holy water hose! Let's go. Um, crit chance, soul chance. Souls, more levels. Now, now we are just the fireman. It's a lot of pushback. Whoa, 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 that guy. That guy got up in my face real quick. I'm gonna do this. And then jump down here and go pick up all this XP. Wow, uh, I'll take Elemental Rifle 4. That seems decent. Orb gets Ricochet. Well, that seems... Really great. Holy Water Hose 3. Wait, Holy Water Hose gets Weakness and Burn. Seems outrageous. I do want Missile, but eventually... Uh, orb 5, why not? Shotgun 3, just straight out the gate? Okay, well, this run is off to some type of start. We could go with a cat. But we could probably luck out and get a better one. Like, a higher level cat to start with. Let's take another relic. I mean, this feels, like, completely outrageous already. We're six minutes in, and... I know we're level 18, but... How many, how many levels of... How many, like, actual levels do we have from all the luck we've gotten?
it feels like a, like we're like we're pushing back the Cenobites. If we're pushing back the Cenobites, that's a strong start. Um, let's we'll upgrade Thunderstroke here. Plus one ammo. It's fine. A not exciting level up. Statical a two. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be hard to say no to that. Yeah, having ridiculous amounts of luck is definitely my favorite way to play this game. I don't know, it's, it's very satisfying getting the bonus level ups. Really, really can't get enough of that. Uh, I would like more enemies though. I can't, you take armor? No, give me speed. Speed is damage while we're moving. We're actually just like pushing through the enemies right now. Which is ridiculous. Where's the werewolf coming from? Because he will just like jump us. Okay, he's coming from way over there. Oh look, he's frozen, and he's pushed, and he's burning, and he's electrocuted. It's a bad day for him. I would like... That treasure chest, please. Uh... <laughs> what is this game? Alright, plus two levels on the Staticola. Double jump, double, double dash is where it's at. Alright, alright. Let's see how we handle the major domos. I'm gonna hang out in my camp spot here. Uh, water hose seems outrageous. They're called Orphitic Reapers, but to me, they are major domos. Molten core guys. Lucifrons, if you will. Uh, we're pushing them back. Uh, Statical of five. Oh, no. Let's just take the missile. We want the missile. It's okay. It's a guided missile. It's as advertised. It didn't have quite the explosion I was hoping for. I wanted like a like a BFG sort of deal, right? That's what I was expecting. So maybe I'm a little disappointed on that front, but at the same time, like holy water hoses. Um ridiculous, so. Can't really be mad about that. Um, I'm not feeling entirely pressed. Okay, massive green is up. Let's see how we handle bosses. I'm just gonna do a little maneuver here. We handle bosses quite well. And how much time do we have? We have a little bit of time. I think we have enough time. I'm trying to look for arrows on the screen. Oh, we got tapped by something. Time to move. Okay, well, let me go pick up healing. Oh, do we care? I mean, more ammo is just always going to be good. And we're back to full. That was not bad, for sure. <laughs> I feel like... I'm still not exactly sure how Massive Green attacks you. I'm assuming he has tentacles somewhere that come and like smack down, but like... I haven't seen it. Okay. I will turn on my power for a second to make getting this chest easier. Um... 
Oh, I didn't even notice. Revolver is the is the claw of this game if you're a Slave the Slayer player, or if you're a potato person, it's the stick. You're supposed to spam revolvers. Okay, well, whatever. We'll try that in a later later video. It's boss boss layer. That's pretty good. Oh, I haven't tried Ripper. Max ammo is one, and we have plus three, so that's pretty good. I assume it's like a buzzsaw. And just land here. Get some goodies and we're back. Yeah, I do think the first map is significantly better. Um, in the way it's designed as well. Like just the verticality of it all. Uh, I After this run, I plan on going back. We just had to finish off these guys here. But, yeah, I don't know. Uh, frog? Do we frog? I mean, I think rats are better, but it's fine. We can frog. We have, we have pushback. Rats are kind of ridiculous, right? Because they give you pushback exposed and a heal at level five which is a like <laughs> that's that's a lot of things at once i don't know how important heal like healing is a lot easier here than in the other map too though because the healing locations in the other map are placed in such a way that it gets very dangerous why does holy water hose get boss slayer too what is this uh, weapon Why is it so good? <laughs> what, like... Like, what... If... It, what, what's it gonna get? This is the last level of it. Level 5. Is it gonna get Electrify? Just make it the de facto best weapon in the game? I don't know if I want to get as close to the Hellmouths as I just did there. They're definitely Hellmouths, right? Like, that's what I imagined the Hellmouth would look like. I mean, I'm pretty sure it was just a cave at the end of Buffy, but... Looks good. 20 max HP. Um, I think... We're supposed to take that because we're able to pick up everything as it is. And 20 max HP should give us some extra like survivability in case we get into a bad situation. Just in case. But realistically, like what is what is stopping us right now? I mean, obviously enemies do enough damage, right? That if I like just fell into a pit of them, I'd, that's it. But outside of some serious user error. It's gonna hop on, a, oh, speaking of user error. I almost goofed that one. It's fine. We get to funnel them all. I'm just watching to see if any enemies are coming through the the other corridor over there. They literally can't push forward. It's kind of dumb. And this is just with one holy water hose. Alright, we do have to move now because this guy is going to ruin our day. That's a lot of XP we're gonna get. Hey, sneaky, sneaky werewolf.
And then hopefully we get some cool stuff towards the end of the run with like mythic relics and whatnot, because you know, enhanced luck and whatnot. I will say, I think I'd like to see the run time pulled down to about 20 minute runs and have it be a little more exciting, but I'm very much on the record as being a 20 minute run type of person in these roguelikes. I just feel like the pacing's a little bit better at 20 minutes. It can be, right? If you get the pacing right at 30, it's also fine. But you don't want to fall into the same trap as Vampire Survivors, where the last five to seven minutes of the run, you do nothing. Which wouldn't be the case ex as much here because you're much more active, but at the same time you would stop making meaningful decisions, which is you know at least in my opinion like 100%, not 100%, it's like 80% of my enjoyment of the game. Um, Two levels on the frog. Seems good. I'm gonna grab some XP here. While well, it's free. We could take... Man, that was weird graphics. Could take Killer Frost. I think Killer Frost is pretty strong. Do I even have weapon slots left? Two secondary slots. Oddly enough. Soul chance. Crit chance and damage. Heal. Um, no luck here. Bleed. Killing an enemy that is bleeding grants additional blood. I like the sound of that. Quite a bit, actually. Frog gets a second frog. The only thing better than one frog is two frogs. What are the odds they bring back that Frog Budweiser commercial from like 25 years ago? I feel like I'm showing my age. Um, <laughs> but I guess the audience for this game is very much people who played it Doom when they were younger. Um, I like three levels. Ripper four. Two more ricochets. More max ammo. Horizontal shot. Yeah, seems fine. Um, Max HP over shield because there's plenty of healing to go around right now. The frogs do seem to be getting stuck on the wall a lot, which I'm not sure about. Like, do they just target the nearest enemy? I'm not exactly sure how it works. I think the rats that seem to have very good pathing, but the frogs, I'm not sure. Like, if I stand right here, I think this frog's going to hit well, maybe I'm wrong. Oh, hey, look. It's our friend. Well. Gandalf has been slain. That was... Why is there a single boss at 18 minutes? That seems so weird to me. I mean, I do have to remember that we have a level 5 sniper rifle just, like, chilling. So that's, um, a thing, because sniper rifle is, like, uh, some of you in the comments, I, again, I, I read your guys' comments, like, I, I make a point. I don't, I won't always respond to everyone, but I try to read every one of them. Um, some of you have said that sniper rifle is the best weapon in the game, and while... I, I don't know whether or not that's like factually true or not, right? Um, I, so far in my experience, I find it hard to argue with it being, you know, one of my preferred weapons if I'm like trying to win, right? 
like it in conjunction with this other like crowd control stuff like sniper rifles and holy water hoses seems like it goes crazy and i kind of feel like i could just do whatever i want because of this double that well well you know if i had dash charges <laughs> if i you remember to make sure i have them for each relic you have you have increase your healing efficiency by two percent Okay, well, I'm going to be honest, that is uh, not what I was expecting, but it's extremely powerful. All of these upgrades are absolutely absurd. I'm going to take Static Cola because I think it's the best at the moment because we're a little ways out from bosses. Um... The critical damage of this weapon is doubled. Ripper is a crit weapon, huh? Huh. You'd have to build for crit, though. Which we're not, but you could, and it would be interesting. All right, let's go elemental rifle. That's the boss killer. I'm going to press F here, and it's going to just completely destroy everything. Statical is a wild weapon. I mean, it's ball lightning, and ball lightning is a fantastic, like, ability in most games. I, generally speaking, I think Diablo 2 has influenced me to the point where anything that is even remotely similar to Frozen Orb is just very enjoyable. So the fire version of like played Last Epoch, which if you haven't, you should play Last, Last, Last Epoch if you're into action RPGs at all. Um, I've put an absurd amount of time into it, which I should probably make some videos at some point, at least about what I'm playing or whatnot. But um, that game has a skill called Volcanic Orb that basically lets you do that same thing. Um, I'm not going to talk about Diablo 4's Frozen Orb because I think it's ass, like most other things in that game. Um, oh man, plus two ammo to all weapons. Honestly, I was ready to take Dragoon there, but plus two weapon ammo to all weapons is really strong when you have the weapons. What hit me? What snuck up on me there? Is rude. But yeah, I, as I was saying, like any of the like any orb shooting weapon that like spirals all stuff. Even uh, there was an ability in I want to say Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance on the PS2. It might have been Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance 2. I don't remember which one specific it might have been both right but the wizard had a ball lightning spell and i just remember it being just the coolest thing so i've always I, I, maybe it's just me but i've always had an affinity for that type of spell sh slash gun slash attack pattern i guess the slow moving orb that hits things multiple times in an area Uh, these fat boys aren't even making a dent here. Missile up two. More explosion radius. Explosion radius one to three. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and say that uh, in the future, if we could get some type of reference as to how large explosion radius is, that would be I don't know how exactly you do that, but this doesn't tell me anything. Burning Corpse Bomb sweet, though. More max HP. Sunblast. We've talked about Sunblast before, how it's kind of a... Kind of a trap over Dragoon. Dragoon is, like, just extremely powerful, whereas Sunblast is 
also extremely powerful, but it kind of gets worse as you level it up because the cooldown gets longer. If the cooldown stayed the same, it would be different. I mean, it uh, it is it is a Kamehameha using the power of the sun, so that's impressive. <laughs> but like, uh, oops. But beyond that, it really, ho hopefully whenever the game is again further updated, they adjust that. Defragmentation, that seems great. I don't think our healing efficiency really matters. I'm going to take defragmentation. It seems good. Plus our, you know, explosion radius goes up, so that's nice. I'm sure I'll make it larger. I think the missiles should be bigger. That's what I think. I know screen clarity is an issue, but when you're dealing with or just just add just add BFG, just add a bigger one, right? Just like a giant single launcher instead of that one. Holy water hose ripper. I think ripper. 10% luck. We got legendary vampire slaying underwear. OK, I'm I'm ready. I'm ready to cash in. Uh, this run has been a slaughter. Revolver goes to five. Damage is increased by 50% for each additional revolver you have. You can have one, two, three, four, five, six. You can have 10 guns. So. 10 times. Well, I guess it's 45. Percent times nine. So not so 450% damage. Um, <laughs> that's pretty good. That's pretty good. If you go all revolvers. There's a potion somewhere. Oh, cool. That's what even makes this spot like that's what makes the spot even better. Um, there's two potion spawns in literal view that you can jump back and forth from. I, I guess that only applies really to this character, right? But two spots you could jump back and forth from. You get to manipulate the enemy um, AI. Um, this is just not nice. more max HP, I guess. Nothing can come at you from the backside aside from skull ships or, you know, random bosses. No enemies. There's no flying enemies yet i'm sure there will be at some point skull ship and mantid toe where is where's the mantis you right there okay oh i can't believe i made that jump come back come back yeah there you go no you're not you're not hitting me I did fall down, but that's all right. Skull ship. Please come back. There's so much XP on the ground. I'm trying to do this without taking damage. And some big old sex monsters here. Um. My wife's in the room and she just looked at the screen when I said that. <laughs> like, what are you playing? I mean, but like, look at these guys. They're ridiculous. Um, I don't know. Shotgun? Sam gun plus two? Okay. It's a... It's a secondary weapon, at least. And then we can go Holy Water Hose 5, Sunblast plus 1, no, 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 let's take some shield. We got a lot of XP just now. Uh, Killer Frost up, Sam Gun to 4.
We're at 200 effective HP right now. Level 50. But like, how many levels have we actually gotten, right? Because we've taken so much, so much from luck. We're hitting some pretty big numbers, too. So I feel like I definitely saw a 5k in there. Now the robots. Hey, treasure chest. Cool. Gives me an excuse to maneuver around a bit. Killer Frost goes up. Yeah, armor for each frozen enemy is pretty strong. That is apparently part of the become invincible with Paladin strategy is Killer Frost for the armor. Which makes sense. You freeze everything and then scale your armor up to infinity. See if they can push through here. I would think that the robots can, but you never know. I mean, our score is pretty low, so we're gonna have to use constellations to get our score up higher, but I think we could get pretty high. I'm um, so, my cat just jumped on top of my computer. I'm so glad he didn't just turn it off. Would not be the first time. I need to get like some type of thing to cover my, my power button. This on the top. All right, um, let's, let's just go around here. Hey, hey, you can't have that. <laughs> Cats. Trouble. All right, shotgun five. Plus 15% speed. Okay. Uh, sniper or six? Sure. Sam gun five. Three random upgrades. 5% damage. I think 5% damage. Seems good. Werewolf got wrecked. I guess we're still missing another. Uh, I see the thing with the frog. He got stuck in the corner again. I guess we're still missing another weapon. But yeah, you know, whatever. Ah, get me out of the corner. We actually got hit for. Oh, I was gonna say for four damage. That's weird. But no, I guess we lost our armor. We do get bonus damage while we're moving, and we have a lot of extra movement speed, so I might as well try and take use of it. Um, this feels like holy water hose. The world hourglass. I am not taking luck down as cool as that is. Or we take sand gun. It's fine. I can hold this from this angle. I mean, we're about to win as it is. Oh, cool. Thank you, cat. Thank you, Cypher. Appreciate it. Just throwing off my devices for my computer. Good thing my camera wasn't on. <laughs> Little menace. He is very much the orange cat. Well, I'd say this run was a success. Go to the balloon or get to the balloon. OK, I'm going to get to the balloon. How much XP do we leave on the ground? An insane amount. I'm also really interested. <laughs> look at all that. Really interested to see what the damage numbers look like. I'm going to say sniper rifles the top damage, but we'll see. Oh, you know what? No, it's probably Staticola. It, one of those two. 
Uh, I was very wrong about Staticola. I was right about Sniper by a lot. Holy moly. Uh, Ripper actually did an incredible amount. We've unlocked the laser. Um, we also unlocked Aquila. So that's good. So we can work on that achievement. We didn't really move up, but that's because we didn't do anything. There's our guy Daydream King. Shout out to you in the comments. 49 million. Hilarious amount of points. Uh, missile did okay, not that much. Revolver did not very much either, but we know Revolver didn't do much because you're supposed to stack revolvers. I don't even know if stacking revolvers would be that great. Uh, what we do know is that Sniper is ridiculous and that Ripper overperformed. Um, I wouldn't worry too much about Holy Water Hose being this low either because exposed plus pushback makes it insanely valuable but uh sniper did do over 1.6 million damage so that's pretty good anyways um yeah aquila and laser we now have the laser and we got some more stuff more meta progression so yeah um next time we'll do some type of constellation i'm not sure what maybe the extra 100 percent i'll have to see what uh what it takes to actually gets like really high scores but anyways i hope you guys liked the video if you did don't forget to like comment subscribe all the youtube stuff and i will see you next time jeff out bye